Hello, this is Todd Smith, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I still use YouTube, even though I love the blockchain and have full faith in blockchain-based social media. I want to speak on why I still use YouTube, because there's plenty of people who have asked me, why do you keep jumping back and forth be between the blockchain and YouTube? And I really just utilize both. And I kind of want to explain that in really in a two-part series. This first video is going to talk about why I still use YouTube. And then the second video is going to talk about why I use the blockchain. And this will kind of give the strengths and weaknesses of both. Right now I'm sitting at about 4,900 subscribers and 900,000 views within the YouTube ecosystem. Some people might never be able to reach those numbers, but in reality, that's really not a lot of views and it's really not a lot of subs. But the fact is, it's still almost a million eyes on my content from random people around the world. And the fact is, just the blockchain is kind of the technology of tomorrow. And when these social media sites, as powerful as they are with Steemit and things like DTube, DSound, and all these other platforms that are popping out like Shoon, um, the fact is the average Joe isn't on them yet. So if you have anything that, if you're making content that isn't specific to these platforms and these D apps or these communities within these d apps you're really losing out on the possibility of a lot of eyes and support on your content if you don't use old school social media like youtube and things of that nature because the just the fact is the average people are not on these blockchain social medias yet now if you're making content that is only talking about Steemit, only talking about DTube, only talking about DTube communities, only, you know, honestly, that's not going to do very good on YouTube. And at that point, I, I can almost see why you wouldn't want to use YouTube because it wouldn't really be worth your time. But when you do a niche like synthesizers and things that might be a little bit more popular outside of the Steemit ecosystem, and maybe even less supported than other niches here within the blockchain, you're going to really be missing out on some opportunities if you don't continue to use YouTube. And on top of the benefits for me, it benefits the blockchain because I talk about the blockchain all the time. I've even changed my YouTube name to blockchain music. Um, so since I'm still within the ecosystem of YouTube and common social media, I'm able to share my experiences, my growth, and my organic growth of my record label from blockchain support. So this, over time, slowly shows people that I am investing my time into the blockchain technology, and it gets people interested organically in people who really see how I've evolved. So they don't think of it as a get rich overnight scheme where a lot of these people who promote this platform, that's how they promote it. They promote it as, you know, make money now. Where me, I'm trying to promote the aspect of growth through work on the blockchain. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. You have to put in that time and that effort to make your project take off. So me being within the YouTube ecosystem and staying within common old school social media allows me to promote the blockchain just via my natural evolution and without having to force it down their throats and sound like a salesman in a sense. And those are the main two reasons I still use YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So if you guys kind of see me talking about the blockchain a lot but be like why does this guy still use youtube maybe this will shed some light on why i still use youtube 
And then in the next video, I'm going to talk about why I use the blockchain and why I'm going to continue to use blockchain social media technology in the future. Until next time, stay positive, stay creative, support each other. Peace.